<laughs> Good Tuesday morning to you guys. This is Rusty78609, alive and in color from Fort Clark Springs, Texas, right across the highway from Brackettville, Texas. Hey, Google, what's the temperature? The temperature in Brackettville right now is 45 degrees. With a high of 54. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 7 degrees. Got seven. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 1. Ooh, that's, got, that's windy. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 32 degrees. Not too bad. Got a little chance of rain there. Anyway, moving right along to uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. And right now just went shh, right on by. So if anything you want to do, I suggest that you get busy doing it or it ain't going to get done. Never worry about what you cannot change. And uh, <clears throat> my voice is going in and out. Why? I don't know. It's the way it is. Uh, what else? Uh, I got me some new glasses yesterday in Uvalde at the Vision Center. They were supposed to have got some new lenses for these frames, okay? My good frames here. But the lenses that they got in weren't big enough to fit these. So, either I had to wait two more weeks or they would give me these frames basically for free and, and the, the lenses would fit in these. So this is this and this is the original. I like these better. I do. But anyway, there, so I've got glasses. i got plenty of damn sunglasses. I'm telling you. But anyway, what else? <clears throat> Been living in this tiny home a while now, and I think that's got something to do with why I'm a little hoarse, is uh, the fact that I've been going in and out and getting stuff out of the RV and moving it in here, and the temperature hadn't been above 45 in a week. And it's been damp and misty rain and crap, and we're not going to get any sunshine until, I'll tell you, uh, it looks like, uh, well, it, it ain't going to show me here. I, th I think Wednesday or Thursday we get back into the 70s and stuff, which I'm looking forward to. But having said that, hey Google, tell us a joke. Did you hear about the snowman that got upset when the sun came out? He had a total meltdown. Yep, 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 yep. But anyway, good morning guys. It is Tuesday morning. Get up and get with them. You've only got to work one more day and then you get a four-day weekend. I mean, think about that, most of you, or a lot of you. But anyway, <clears throat> comments, Rusty, I think. Yeah, uh, it says, this is Echo for Bravo. Cozy, giving a feeling of comfort, warmth, and relaxation. 16 Gs, just finish it out like you out like. You like. That's on the tiny home, Home Devo. Depot, Devo? A Devo's a depot, right next to a depot. Uh, anyway, JS says, hello, Rusty. You and I are along the same mold. We both try to avoid negativity while keeping the you do you and I'll do me life theme. I would suggest not even reading or acknowledging the nasty comments you get. I see Matilda come into the picture and I brace myself for a joke, a jerk. Uh, why people feel they have a right to post mean or hateful comments towards someone is beyond me. But hey man, it happens on every every creator's channel. But no, no I, I, uh, I need to keep... Uh, Matilda in shape, and you know that's how she eats. You can't, you, you're cutting off her food, boy. Anyway, Dan Waters, Rusty, have you ever drove your RV from coast to coast? No. Uh, or do you just do the Texas New Mexico deal? I do the Texas New Mexico deal now. I did do a lot of the West. You know, I, I did just about all the states west of the Mississippi. I, I did try going east one time. I went to Florida. It's too busy, man. It's too too much traffic. Stan Lee. On the RV, he says, Rusty, what are your thoughts on the bums who take their vehicles to Walmart parking lots and basically move in forever? I think they're either lazy, mentally gone, or broke. What are your thoughts? Well, I think they're probably broke, okay, you know, and they're just trying to get by the best they can, you know, walk a mile in their shoes. And, you know, that's what you'd call a hasty generalization, you know. Uh, you know, all those people that park at Walmart are bums. Uh, no, there, there's a lot of good folks there. And, and, uh, but again, it's, poverty will make you do some crazy things. Don Jones, what does a charging what does a charging station for your RV? What does a charging station for your RV? Well, number one, a charging station charges the RV. That's good. I think what he's trying to ask is how much does it cost? 
it's about three times what your home rate is for, for electricity. So if I'm paying 13, I'd probably pay 39 to 50 cents a kilowatt at a charging station. No, they, they rob you. <coughs> it's a for profit business, trust me. This is on the Border Patrol checkpoint. Brackettville BP never met a better person. His dad put in 30 years Del Rio Border Patrol and he decided to the same while at ASU in the early 80s. He just wanted to help people. But anyway, uh, okay, thank you, Chris. Uh, have a good day. J.E. Rusty, ask Google what the temperature is in Eureka, Canada. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Eureka, Canada? Right now in Eureka, it's minus 43 degrees. Due to current wind conditions, Yo. it feels like it's minus 61. God almighty. Minus 43? Feels like minus 61? A lot of dead bodies around there. The Marticians go, well, you wait till summer to bury them. Wow, thank you for that. I'd have never guessed that. Good name, Eureka. <clears throat> thank you, J.E. This is James Sams. We sold our RV in less than a week for the same amount we paid for it four years ago new. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt it a bit because they're pretty expensive. I'd probably sell mine. Well, I wouldn't sell mine for less than I paid for it, that's for sure, because I don't need to. Uh, yeah, James Sam says, hello, goat man. I, I would not say you dodged the bullet by not building a tiny house in Capitan, New Mexico. You would have, you would have, you would have a great hot weather home. Your class C would just become an extra. Time is passing by fast. Boy, if it, tell me if it, it sure is. King for a day. How about this rustyism? Know the know what the difference is in boondocking in a Walmart parking lot and boondocking in hell. Nothing. No, it's true, and it can be. Walmart parking lots are not really designed for camping, okay? Shift in the high, thumbs up, up to you. Uh, nomad man. Greetings from Quartzsite, Arizona. That's interesting. Yeah, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Quartzsite, Arizona? The current temperature in Quartzsite <laughs> is 40 degrees. Not bad. 40 with a, a high of uh, 69 and mostly sunny. No, the weather is nice out there. Francis Ann Vaughn says, I'm a hog known as the first lady of Texas, was born in Mineola in 1882 as the only daughter among three sons of Texas Governor Big Jim Hogg. We often hear the story of how Big Jim named his two daughters I'm in Europe, but there never was a Europe. Yeah, I've, I've heard that story a million times. No Europe, huh? Thank you, Francis. Tracy Phillips. Hi, Rusty. Great comment call today. I drove by your home base in Capitan, and it is covered in snow. I emailed you some pictures. Have a great day. You did? Let's see if I got them. Let's see who this is from. Uh, check this. Uh, don't see it there. Let's check another one. I want to see the pictures. Uh, yeah, here we go. It says, hey, I drove by your place covered in snow. Here, she took the pictures out the window. <laughs> you want to see them? Well, she only got to. If you can see that, you can see the snow on the lot there. <coughs> I'd be right in the middle of that. But one thing good, though, that guy that mowed uh, really got it looking good. I mean, there's no weeds sticking up, and I think that salt that I put there is starting to, to do its job. But anyway, moving along here uh, to, thank you, Tracy. Uh, Wyatt 1153 says they raised the price of RV parks so high that it is now cheaper to stay at a motel than it is to RV. Ridiculous prices. Add in the barking dogs and the disrespectful, uncivilized people and gas prices, it's no longer desirable. The cost of the RV also, corporations ruined it. You can't even find an RV spot anymore. Well, you know, that's uh, been going on a while, you know, and... Uh, <clears throat> But anyway, hang on, guys. Got to blow my beat. So, thank you, Wyatt1153. Good info. Keith Bronson 
says, I'm a hog's father. Jim Hogg was the first native-born governor of Texas elected in 1890. Thank you for that. Carl H., the hermit with Wi-Fi. That's a nice name. Catching you later in the day. I, I hope yours was good. Yeah, my, my days are mostly good. Uh, this is on the Chevy Bolt. PhD RPH says 292 miles, price good, range fair to poor, only good for local driving. Uh, no, hell, I, I go all over it. I go anywhere I want to. Any, well, you know, it, it depends on what local is to you. I mean, where you live, El Paso, Jose Flores, IBWC unveils plan to shore up at risk Amistad Dam. Okay, well, that's good to know. Spiderhead, thumbs up to you. <clears throat> this is John Bruce. I never got as far as buying an RV, but at one point I did calculate the comparison of traveling and using fuel, staying in one place for a lengthy amount of time and storing the RV and returning home to my home on Maui for the winter. As weird as it sounds, storing the RV was the least expensive, while long stay accommodations being in second place. So the most expensive activity when owning a recreational vehicle is traveling and moving about. I still plan to RV, but I'm going to arrive at an airport, pick up a rental for a couple of weeks, and drop it off to fly home. Well, yeah, there's all kinds of ways. You know, there's individuals that rent their RVs now. I don't know if there's a, there's a website for it, but I don't know what it is. Lawrence Hockett says, okay, that's funny on the RV. Uh, cool video, uh, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin, says, cool video talk, Rusty, thank you. This is uh, Robert Taylor <clears throat> on comment call. Says, hello, Rusty, did you decide to keep your other house you bought, or are you going to sell it? Are you also going back to New Mexico before next spring? Are you still up to doing the cabin stay tour that you were talking about. Well, the cabin stayed to her kind of faded, and that, uh, but uh, I've only got one home, and it's the one I'm in right now at Fort Clark Springs, Texas. So anyway, thank you. Scotty Thompson again. Uh, he says, I'm going to sand the surface of my bowling ball, two bowling balls, my plastic and my urethane. Uh, anyway, we'll get get all ready for Thursday night. Well, yeah, I guess y'all will skip Thursday night because that's a, uh, Thanksgiving, but whenever you get back, I hope your plan works. Cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you very much. Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. Gabriel's Holistic Care on comment call says, I was thinking that people who live in apartments might have a harder time with EVs for home-based charging. Thanks, Troy P. Matilda was hungry, and you have no place here with Rusty. Romeo or the Rangers, so goodbye. You are the weakest link. Yeah, if there's a weed in the garden, pull it out. <clears throat> yeah, uh, people in apartments would have a difficult time charging their RV. Some apartments, though, are uh, making chargers available. Uh, Dale Pointer, uh, this is on just riding. <coughs> anyway, <clears throat> he says, just riding, a lot to say, just riding on a cold autumn day. Come along, you can find a lot of humor and a good time. Just riding, rangers all, just riding, having a ball. Thank you very much, Dale Porner, for your morning poetry. And uh, we'll move on along here. Al Fur, thumbs up. Jim Boer, Troy P. was so bad, Matilda may have indigestion. Yeah, she did burp. <clears throat> Alex V. here says, the new Prius is also new and untested. It's re not really known if it will be as reliable as pr uh, previous models. As far as RVing, yeah, it looks looks fun, but I think one still needs to have a home base or two, some place to put down your boots and always have a place where things when things get too crowded. No, that's true. I, I agree with that. That's why I got two home bases. And Mitt, after watching Caravan Carolyn's recent video on the crazy man at quartzite i say hard pass on that rv site i have zero patience for that nonsense <clears throat> yeah there's some crazy dudes out there i'll give you that most of them are good people 
Dear Trixa, good evening. Thumbs up to you. Says, and he also says, always nice to take a drive and listen to Rusty. Well, I'm glad to hear that because that, there's going to be a lot of that. Uh, we'll, get, we'll do a few more here. Uh, Peppy Patty 2432. From what I've learned, fentanyl is extremely deadly when overdosed. Uh, I guess so. I mean, I know in the state of Texas, they're really battling it. I mean, it's a big deal here. Cajun Jameis, I'm fit to be tied down. Sammy Kershaw, like the ben benevolent Bob Wells says, said future homes will be on wheels. Whatever. Uh, possible. Well, there's a lot of them on, home, on wheels now. Uh, this is Jazz. says, hey, Rusty, what's your Thanksgiving plans? Happy Monday. Uh, my plans to uh, fix me a good uh, Thanksgiving uh, meal and pig out, yeah, and just enjoy the day like everybody else, I guess. Uh, Mike McCuddy, RVing is all about how fun or miserable you make it for yourself. For example, if you have to have a pull-through site with full hookups everywhere you go, you will have a much harder time than someone willing to dry camp who doesn't have the has hassle of towing anything. No, that's true. And when I went in the Prius, boy, you talk about a free spirit. Go anywhere. Alvin Masso, awesome driving video, Rusty. Cheers. Keep doing, keep doing you. I will. Anyway, we'll do about four more here. We'll shut her down. WTBM one two three. Cool. Glenn McNeely. Good morning, sir. Have a great day. You too, Glenn. Uh, hockey, hockey, hockey nut. I believe that if you RV because you cannot afford housing and struggle, it will not be fun. <coughs> if you RV and can afford park fees and perhaps outings when you park and have financial stability, it can be anything you want. No, it's true. Every, money talks. It's just the fact of the truth. That's, that's in anywhere, man. You got enough money, uh, you can do you can do all right. Uh, Rick G. Rusty must have won the lottery since he can afford to go get groceries. And I, and I added, and beer. <laughs> uh, anyway, last one here, Rita. Oh, two of them. All right, we got two here. <clears throat> Poodle Professor says, there wasn't a you're a hog, but I'm a hog was known as the first lady of Texas. She was a high society lady who donated her house, famous art collection, and gardens to the Houston Museums and also helped start the Houston Symphony. Interesting. Well, the story's much better if there's a Europe hog. <laughs> Thank you. Check her channel out on YouTube, Poodle Professor. Anyway, what else we got here? We got Del... Oh, Rita Meek, last one. She's apparently got a channel on YouTube, too. Del Rio is a nice little town. Enjoyed seeing it again. You're quite welcome. And uh, with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, from Fort Clark Springs on a cool day, but not too bad, this is Rusty78609 saying, Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem clock is right here. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you choose, okay? And then what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for, good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. And you won't want to eat so much as in snack. Eat less. That's all. The only way to lose weight is eat less. That's it. And then what else? <clears throat> Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes, it is. Do it several times a day. You won't regret it. And then what else? Uh, stretch. Stretch, stretch, swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Well, you'll feel better immediately, and you may live longer healthy because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So give your neurons something positive to work with. Don't watch the negative news. Anyway, what else? Uh, accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. 
Aloha until the 10.30 a.m. video. What will it be? I don't have a clue. Anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Adios. Bye-bye.